God gives me the grace and power to do his will. So now let us pray. Dear, Dear God, God, please let your Holy Spirit when I please let your Holy Spirit be with me when I tell a Bible story of Nehemiah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So now let me tell you Nehemiah, which stands for God build up. So Nehemiah was one of God's servants and Sorry. one time one time Jessica asked his dad and mum why do we have to give money and why do we have to give money like in the little boxes? Then uh, his dad says, Because our old one needs a new one. So then his dad said, that does remind me of Nehemiah. He was one of God's builders. So, I'm going to tell you information about Nehemiah and the story about him. So, Nehemiah was one of God's builders just then. And Nehemiah was the king's servant too. So, Nehemiah asked Hanani, his brother, um... How are they going in Jerusalem? He said quietly. Then Hinnaniah's Ferais didn't be happy and went sad. He said in a quiet voice, it didn't go that well. The walls have been all crashed down and the gates have been all fired. So then... Nehemiah sank into his chair when he heard about this. Teeth went down his face and he was super sad. So then God told him to rebuild the walls of Jericho, I mean Jerusalem. So um, Nehemiah asked the king first for, per for permission. So he asked the king and prayed before going and had a prayer. Prayer and said, Please let him answer yes. So he went to the king and said, Oh Lord, I have one fever. I really need you to say yes. And the king said, What is it, Nehemiah? He, he said it really kindly. Then Nehemiah said, I, My ancestors have been buried in Jerusalem where the walls have been all broken. Down and the gates have been burnt down too. So Nehemiah was really sad. Then the king said, What do you need matter with? Then Nehemiah said, I want to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem again. Then he said a quick prayer. And then the Lord touched his heart. Then he said, Of course, I will let. You have my servants to build your room for you. And you can do all the planning that you have to do to rebuild the walls again. So the next day, they went with Jerusalem with the servants that the king um, that the king had said to Nehemiah that he would promise to let the servants come with him. So um, he had his servants and ride to Jerusalem. When they got there, they started working and they put all the rocks there. When he was talking about, the Lord is with us, 
You shall not have any fear, please. It is not really tough to um, begin this work. While he was talking, talking about that, one man came and said, <laughs> You can never build the walls of Jerusalem again. But um, Nehemiah's mind thinks about the Lord was with him. So he said, you do not interrupt me in this matter. And the man was really angry. So he just went back really angry and stopped. So then Nehemiah still trusted God. So he kept teaching and then kept he kept planning and the um and his other workers kept working. And after that, in, uh, at the next day, the man came again and said, You filthy man, you wouldn't even be able to rebuild the walls again. And then he stomped about, he um, wrecked the building that he just built. And he said, Even the knocks, even a fox can knock over these piles of rocks. Nehemiah didn't give up. When he got one of the stones, he said, Lord, please do not forgive them. Only forgive them a little bit. Only if they just promise to never be able to, um, to do this to someone else. And he prayed like that. So then, Nehemiah started, um, and then the man and his other soldiers laughed when they went back with their horses, <laughs> and they went back with their horses, and Nehemiah was really happy that they just leave, and then they still did the journey, even if Nehemiah was bullied by the others. And then, one time, the man said to his most trusted servant, Complete at this task and you will be really rich. And um, the man gave him all gold coins to just complete this task. And the man agreed. Nehemiah's most trusted servant agreed. I thought he would agree to Nehemiah's task, but he didn't. So he agreed, and one time Nehemiah said, Why did you call me? So then he said back, um, The man who is looking for you is going to kill you. Then Nehemiah said, What do I have to do with that? Then he said, Let us go in the temple gate and look up all the doors. Nehemiah said, why does a man like me, the most trusted servant of God, have to go hide at the temple gates? And then um, he thought about it and said, uh -huh. and he said, because the Lord said to. And then, Nehemiah, and then Nehemiah said, why would the Lord say to go hide in the temple gates? No, I know that the man is telling you to lie to me so that he can kill me. He did not want that. So the man dropped all his money and ran with his horse quickly. And when the man, like the other man that's being rude to Nehemiah, is really angry. So he decided to kill Nehemiah and the others that are wor working at Jerusalem. And so, one time he decided to have a plot to kill them. But Nehemiah heard about this, so he got ready and got all the spears and swords and all the um, things that the, a soldier and like fighting man would need. And, um, 
some joined at the gates and they were ready to attack. But when the men, the bad men heard about this, he was really angry that he couldn't kill Nehemiah. So, um, Nehemiah was really happy that he didn't give up. In just 52 days, he was done. Then he called all 105 musicians, 100 and, um, two families to go in their gates that they had just filled. So then, Yumai was really happy. The people were happy to go in their gates. After that, Nehemiah finished all his tasks that the Lord said to do to him. And, do you feel bad or sad or anything when people bully you or do you just give up and don't care about the task? Um, well, I actually feel sad and um, I feel a bit like angry since they did that to me. But I don't care that much, which I just continue what I have to do. Um, it was like if I had to argue with my friend while I was doing my work, which never happens. Um, I would always continue working and I would never give up. I would never stop. Yeah. I would always um, listen to God and do the right things. So then God can be proud of me. Um, I care for them because they don't really believe in God and I could pray for them and um, teach them about the Lord. Even if they do not believe about the Lord, I could still teach um, other people too. And one time, um, and something that would didn't happen, like when... I got in trouble by the teacher and I mean um, I had to argue with my friend while I was um, climbing on something and then she said that I was a scary cat but I did never give up I still climbed even though it was hard so we should be in like Nehemiah and never give up even if someone is bullying you thank you really much for watching and let us pray because the Lord has done many good things for us. Dear God, God. please let your Holy Spirit, thank you for letting your Holy Spirit be with me. But please let your Holy Spirit be with me this night. And please, only if you want to give me dreams, please give me good dreams. Um, and thank you for making this world so beautiful. Please, if someone believes me, please touch my heart and say that this has nothing to do wrong with him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I hope you learn your lesson not to bully anyone. Or if someone bullies you, just leave him alone and still keep doing it. Yeah, Even, and not give up. Yeah, like that's Nehemiah. A, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a very important thing. Because some people, when um, they get hurt, they give up what they're doing because someone... Um, says something mean about them and teases them. Yeah. But if you keep on doing that thing, you succeed. It's just why that person bullies you is because he can't do it. Or he wants to learn it, but he can't do it. And he wants to do that. Or he has a problem with something. Yeah. That's why they're bullying you. Or he doesn't believe in God very much. So we can believe in God, pray, so if people bully you, you don't care about them. And please pray if people bully you, no matter what, do not care and say, huh, I'm not going to do this because the boy bullied me about this and stuff like that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!